Welcome back to Phillips Hot Rod Garage. All right, guys. I feel like I'm caught up in a whirlwind of never-ending nonsense on this old trunk lid. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting out some of this rusty stuff down here at the bottom so I can get this piece to fit. And then I gotta fix some of this stuff. That's bent right there. Got to fix this area here. What else? Oh yeah, there's a tear in it right there. There's a lot to do, but I'm about ready to get this done so I can get it back on the car. So I can get back to patching on these wheel wells and these quarters and the doors. And I kind of just want to spend another night working on this old flathead, but I got to focus. Uh, I'm just starting to lose interest in this old trunk lid project. I gotta get this thing knocked out. Uh, and I just ate a big old supper down at my mom's house. I just feel like taking a nap. But I guess I better go on and get started. There's only one way to get it done. Let's see, where am I gonna cut this off at? Four inches, that ought to do it. Yeah, let's try that. All right, well, I guess there's several different ways you could go about doing this, but I just marked myself a line on it below the rusted area. Right here, marked it straight across. And then I was able to get below this rusted area here and all these rust holes here. So pretty much gonna cut off all the damaged areas, areas damaged by rust. And that'll give me a good place to weld it in, I think. I think it will. Hopefully that'll work. Hmm, I'm just gonna study on it a minute and see. Yeah. Hmm, will that work? I think so. I think I'm gonna go with it. All right, so I think it's time to mark the trunk lid here and right across here so I can start doing some trimming. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut on this side of the line just a little bit. I'm gonna let this piece actually overlap for a little while until I get it exactly where I want it and then I'll cut it off in the exact location it needs to be. But I'm gonna cut on this side of the line and get rid of all this rusty junk right here. So say goodbye to that stuff. It's time for it to go away. All right, so now that this is out of the way, what rusted away from here 
is still right here inside this skin. The outer skin's folded over it right here. And so what's left of this piece right here is stuck up inside there. So now I gotta get all that cleaned out. So that's what I'm doing next. It's not gonna work. All right, so I got the lip cleaned out here. So the next thing I wanna do is try to get this little square plate of scrap metal off. It's just been brazed in place. Of course, they welded that in there trying to fill in the hole where the original handle was for the trunk latch. They converted this thing to a rumble lid at some point in history. And hopefully what I can do is fire up this torch here. There we go. Hopefully I can fire this thing up and heat up the uh, brass right here hot enough that it'll melt. If I can get it to melt and get that piece to come off without much trouble. We're gonna see if it'll work. Hopefully it will. Well, I didn't even have to touch it. Just as soon as it got hot enough for that brass to melt, it just fell right off of there. Exactly what I wanted to happen. Mm-hmm, that's coming out pretty good.
All right. All right, so I got it all cleaned up pretty good now, but I cannot believe how good that came out. I just figured that that area right there was gonna be so bad once I started trying to clean it up that I was gonna end up having to cut it out. But it actually came out really nice. I'm very surprised. I do have a little bit of an area on the skin here that's gotta be repaired. That won't be too bad to fix. There's a little bit of brass right here I gotta get off and then crack right there. And I'm sure there's gonna be a crack here. I don't know what that notch is for. It almost looks like they cut it in it at some point. I don't really know. But there's a little bit of brass left in here. I really can't get it out because it seems like that's getting pretty thin around there. So I don't wanna keep grinding on it. I'll probably just leave that. It won't hurt anything. Plus the, the latch has a, I don't know what you call it, like a chrome bezel. Um, I'm not gonna try to pronounce that word you actually call that but anyway it actually covers all that anyway I think it comes to this line right here so you'll never see any of that brass once it's all put together um, especially with primer and paint on it but you know sometimes uh, body filler and all doesn't like to stick to brass so you really don't want a lot of brass out here on your panels out in the middle um, or in places where body filler's got to stick but that's not gonna hurt a thing gonna be all covered up but I will get all that off and weld this up like it's supposed to be so that's got to be done but that's gonna be a project for another day all right so everything's looking pretty good but what I want to do is go ahead and get this piece to tuck in under this lip and I want to get it sitting down in place so that I can go ahead and mark the inner panel get it cut off exactly where it needs to be cut. But the only way this is ever gonna fit down in here is I'm gonna have to cut some more of these side pieces out right here. So that's the thing to do, let's get to cutting. Well, all right guys, I guess this is the part we've all been waiting for. Is it gonna fit? Let's see. It just tucked up in there nicely. Looks like it's gonna fit in there perfect. Oh yeah. I don't see a thing wrong with that, guys. Hmm. 
Let's see if I can clamp it here. Oh yeah, that's looking pretty good. All right, that's it. I'm gonna bring you guys in for a close up, show you how it looks. All right, it fits down pretty good against it the whole way. I really need some more vice grips. And when you're building a car, you gotta have a lot of them. There's a pair there, there, and another pair there, pair down there, pair there, pair over there, pair down there, pair there, pair there. They're everywhere. All right, so it fits pretty good down against the old trunk right through here. It fits nicely on there. The holes are lined up pretty good. The middle one and this one, real nice. Now the one on the other side is a little bit off right here because this is bent. So I gotta straighten all this out right here and that should make that fit pretty good. This side here lines up real good, fits good. These lines here fit good on both sides. And right there is where a factory spot weld was. There's one of those on both sides. Here's the one on the other side right here. I'll just weld that back exactly like it was from the factory. And you can see it's tucked up nicely up under that lip all the way down. Now this lip on the skin is a little longer on this side than it is over here on this side see it gets really narrow over here compared to the other side but that's pretty good it's real good actually and i still don't know what that notch is for there's a little split in the skin right here i gotta fix that'll be easy to fix Got to weld this corner up right here where it's split, right there. Probably the same way on the other side. Yep, not too bad, but it is a little bit messed up right there. All right, so what's next? Um, I think the thing to do is gonna be repair this area right here, get this straightened out, so that this piece sits down against it correctly right here. I don't want to go ahead and mark it and cut it off until I get this piece straightened right here. So I want to go ahead and straighten that out. And then I want to mark this, cut this off exactly where it needs to go. And then I got to get these corners here to where they'll tuck in under the skin on each side. And then we still won't be ready to weld this because I might need to go ahead and weld some of this up first before I get this in place. Because with this piece off out of the way, I can stick my hand between here and gain access to this under here or put some tools under there to try to dolly some of this out and straighten it out. So with this off, it might be easier to work on. And I might need to go ahead and straighten this area out and weld that up. And of course this side here that's got to be repaired and I probably need to fix this crack here and this place in the skin here and go ahead and hammer this den out right here because with this piece right here out of the way I can get a dolly on the inside of the skin and hammer this dent right here out so that's what we're gonna do so I'm really happy with the progress that I've made this week this was a huge step in the right direction toward getting this trunk fixed and getting this thing in shape. So I'm really happy with this, but as you can see, we're nowhere near 
ready to start welding on it. There's still a ton of work to be done before this piece can be welded in. So we're just gonna keep working on it until we get it. All right, appreciate you guys hanging out to the end. Um, hate that I had to miss last week, didn't get a video out, but had a lot going on on the week of the 4th of July. Uh, some folks in my church wanted to get married on the 4th, so I married them on the 4th, so I spent some time preparing for that. And then the man that put the trusses on my building here and uh, his son framed up on my walls and he and his uh, sons that work with him uh, they put the metal on the building and everything. Um, he passed away, and I had to preach his memorial service. The family asked me to preach it, so I had to do that uh, Sunday, or actually Saturday. So I spent quite a bit of time during the week last week um, not working in the shop, but getting prepared to do a wedding and then a memorial service. So I was kind of tied up last week, wasn't able to work on the car. And uh, some things in life just uh, are a little bit more important. So I had to take care of that. So I hated I had to miss you guys, but I really do appreciate you guys watching all the way to the end. Thanks for your comments. Uh, thanks for uh, hanging out to the end of the video. I always enjoy reading the comments and um, responding back to you guys. And uh, thanks for the emails. And I have guys that send me pictures of their cars and leave me updates. And I really do appreciate that also. Um, Got some other things that we're going to be doing on the channel. We're back on the flathead. Maybe in the next video. I don't know. I might skip next week on it and be back on this trunk. I really am uh, happy with this progress. So I might just stick on this in the next video. I don't know yet. But I got the other two Model A's I bought a while back that we're going to be um, talking about pretty soon. And then I'm getting ready to do some stuff to the 32 Ford. I got a couple of projects in mind that I want to do on it. I'm um, just kind of tired of it sitting over there uh, being neglected and the 37 pickup over here it's neglected also so I'm just getting ready to do a couple things to those it's going to be some small projects on them just to make a few little improvements to those things um, so they don't just sit around abandoned I think they're starting to feel lonely see you guys in the next one